you're looking to build an IoT application and you want to start fast and easy and also something efficient and applicable, uh, Nodred is as one of the key tools in doing so in IoT world, especially. So this application that you see in front of you is basically you can uh, to, cre to create and delete a, a device, uh, manage it basically, uh, control it. You can start and stop it, speed uh, increase and decrease, and also you can see what uh, it's coming back as an event data. Uh, uh, you can do it in multiple ways, get it uh, uh, in real time from the IoT platform or also from the cloud and database. Uh, I'm basically retrieving it from the cloud and database and display it in here uh, for the sake of seeing it. And you can do multiple things. So uh, this application basically sends commands and also receives. And as you can see, it's displaying in here. And so you can uh, see the events that is happening uh, previously, basically retrieving from the cloud and database. Uh, so to start off, uh, I recommend you come, come in to this uh, repo and, and start like checking it out. It's another repo. Uh, it's not that complicated. Uh, the concept behind it is that you have a device. In our case here, this application creates a simulated device because uh, we need to put together an, a, a hardware and uh, put the code and send some data. We can do that and we'll show it in different videos. But for the sake of uh, uh, showing you the software side and how you can, uh, and there's a power also in showing you the simulation that is happening. Uh, so the data, coming from the, a sensor or a device or a hardware, it's same data as injected in, in the IoT platform in here. So, so the hardware is sending the data. There's a REST call and an MQTT uh, calls that it's transferring all this data over to the IoT platform. This is our Node-RED webpage and uh, this data is sitting inside this cloud and database and later on we're showing them in the chart and you can do multiple things with it and also analytics so uh, to start there are you can read, go through this and here's some images just to make sure that you're seeing in, uh, right the way i had it just to make sure that it's working with you uh, so when you click deploy this will take you to the Bluemix page, make sure you have an account. So uh, let me show you. I already ha have created, I have the application, but for the sake of showing it to you, uh, you click on this deploy, it will bring you to a page and you, all you have to do is click on deploy and you'll have the application ready. Uh, so once you have the application ready, uh, you're gonna have, uh, in my case, I named it, Simulate IoT. I'll open it. Uh, and uh, uh, so there's multiple things we need to do. W what we need to do is like uh, go to catalog and add the IoT platform. If you've never done that, uh, let me walk you real fast how you can do that. You search for Internet of Things. And it, this comes up, and you name the service, and you create it, and make sure that you're choosing, uh, you're attaching it basically to the application you have already created, uh, so it won't go, um, let's say, um, independent. In here. Let me go back, actually. Yeah, so you can come to connections and you see uh, this common database comes with the node already. It's a package and I've attached this uh, IoT platform. And if I click on it, and uh, you'll see that we can launch it. So, 
So there are details on how to create this chart and how you can uh, walk through and see. I advise you coming in here and just surf around and check what things are available. Uh, there's a lot you can do uh, it, to let you know that uh, and devices are, I've already have a device in here. And later on, I'll show you how to delete this and recreate it. Uh, but coming to the repo on GitHub, uh, just walk through this, and you're gonna find that uh, there's uh, these are the steps that will help you create this application and start using it. Um, besides that button, you can actually uh, manually uh, run this command lines in your terminal and uh, and start uh, 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 the application from your terminal. Of course, uh, re rename it and and do, do this, all the steps. So one important note is that, uh, let me scroll down, this is basically the whole node architecture that is running the, applic the application, the web page. If we come in here and um, let's say, if I go back and open the URL, let's scroll it again. And it will bring you to this page, and you click. Now, I, I, click, I clicked on that red button. Um, the first time, it asked me if I want to create a username and password. So, so I did. So it recognized me, my laptop, basically. And uh, I just accessed it. But you have to kind of lock to your own username and password. And after, after that, you may end up having a blank uh, page, a blank editor in here. And uh, like, like this one. So all you have to do is that. I did mention it in one of the steps here. Let me uh, check it out. It's like saying to copy from the flow folder and paste it. And I'm, I'm telling you how to paste it. Uh, so basically, you come in here. And let's go get the, the JSON flow. And I'll copy this whole thing. Come in here and say import clipboard, paste it, import, and it's right here. So you have the whole thing. And you can add, remove, uh, play around, and just uh, it's, a, it's a great app application to kind of like uh, start with it. You can start a business, you can start a hackathon, you can start, you can play with it. Uh, and test it out. Just uh, try it out and let us know what you think. Uh, so we've deleted that. Now I'm going to show you some demo. And uh, to show you some demo, let me go to this web page and let me show these two screens basically. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go to to this page and delete what I had. Refresh. And as you can see, it, it got removed. And I said create. It will create a device for me. Right here. Now, I will go to the boards. And in this board, basically, I set it up to open the device centric analytics page, uh, the card basically. Uh, so in this card, uh, you can create your own uh, chart. Uh, let me see. In this case, I think what we can do is get. Uh, Let's say this one. You can choose actually whatever you like. Um, so I'm choosing which device I want to show the real time data for. And uh, basically, and I will say what's the, in my case, um, it's, it's one of the things, yes, I need to show it to you. I'll come back to it. So my flow, it's actually. 
it has this event name. If, uh, I call it event data. And what I, what I need to kind of like read is the speed. And you can choose as a number and just click next. And it, it asks you how, how, what size you want it to show or what color. And you basically click next and, and submit it. So I don't want to create because I, I've, wrote, I've already done it. But one thing I want to uh, show you is that when you come to the devices and open, uh, click on a device, just for the sake of uh, showing it to you in a, in a real time, let's say if I do speed and I click, I increase it by one, as you can see, this is what is coming from the device. In this case, it's a simulated device. So the event, the event name is event data, and this is what I'm. What this is what it's reading from my device, and and actually this is what I'm displaying on the chart. So that's uh, important. Kind of like you see what what's happening. Again, for any question, post a comment, or you can ask us, email us, or something. Uh, Anyway, let's come back, and as you can see, this is my chart, and uh, just to drag down, all right, so let's say, Yeah, I've been having some connection issues this morning. And um, let me check why. Stopped it. Yeah. And uh, let's say start it back. All right, start it back. And you increase it. And let's say you increase it. And let's take it more. So, as you can see, it's showing you on the chart, and uh, and at the bottom, the events that you just saw when I clicked on the device in here. Uh, it's also displaying it on your web page, and also you can see them uh, the info you can see it over here, and uh, whatever that data holds, you can see the whole JSON displayed in here. Uh, so that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, there's a lot to cover. I advise you to come to this repo and just kind of like go through it and read it and if you need or if you have more questions you can reach me out and uh, this is my email or or uh, just uh, you can post a comment um, on or open an issue on the IBM github on, on, on this one uh, just you saw something or you want to improve something uh, let us know uh, but in all cases this is code you can take it and you, you can start your project just have that passion what we're dreaming about with the iot and make it happen thanks